In this video, we'll see how to make use of the advanced filtering functionality. So let's say you have a data table and you have some column names and you have some data and you want to filter this data table based on certain criteria. For example, let's say you want to filter in all public universities, that is universities where the public private field is numbered one. So here's how you can do it. First, you can copy the title fields. I'm just doing a control C and go to a different place. I've just labeled this as criteria range here. You don't have to label it, but you can just go to a different place. Click here and paste these values and go to the output range and paste these values again. So what we have done is we have copied this title bar here and pasted it once in the criteria range, once in the output range. Just as the name suggests, the criteria range is where you specify the filter criteria and the output range is where the Excel spreadsheet will use the filter criteria you specify, apply that to the table and just pull out the records that satisfy the filter criteria and it will output them here. So let's see this in action. So to get started, click anywhere in the original table, click on the data tab and advanced filter. First, you need to check the copy to another location radio button. The list range should be your entire data table, including the, the, the column headings. The criteria range should be the column headings in the criteria range and also at least one row below it because it is in this row below that will be specifying your criteria and copy two should be just the title names for the output range area just the title names and nothing else and click ok and you can just click ok now and you will see that okay we have not specified any filter so it's just going to return all the records. Now, supposing I specify a filter of one. Now what I can do is go to advanced filter and copy to another location. And since all these uh, ranges have already been specified, I can just click OK. And now you will see that only those records where the public private value is one will be shown in the output range. What if you want to filter it further? What if you want to retrieve records where only those records where the public field is one and the state is Alabama? So you can do that by putting AL in the state field. Now you need to run the advanced filter again. So click here, copy to another location. All this remain un remains unchanged and just click OK. And now you will only retrieve those records where the public field is one and the state is Alabama. Now, this is an example of an AND filter. That is, you want only those records where this and this condition are satisfied. What if you wish to do an OR filter? That is, what if you wish to retrieve records where either the public key is one or the state has some other value? So let's do that. Okay, first I'm going to delete this AL here and I'm going to go back here and let's pluck some states where there are only private universities, for example, Texas. Okay, as far as I can see, Texas in this table here does not have a private, does not have a public university. It's all, it's two here. So let me specify TX here. Okay, so notice that this criterion now is an OR criterion. That is, it'll pull out records where the public uh, key is one or the state is Texas. Okay, and naturally this has not yet been updated. To update this, click the advanced button. Now, the list range is the same as before, but the criteria range will now undergo a change. The criteria range is the title fields as well as the two rows where you're going to specify your filter criteria. Notice that this is an OR criteria. That means we are going to retrieve fields records where the state is Texas or the university is a public university. And you can click OK. And the copy to field is the same as before. And you can click 
um, copy to another location. Be sure to check this. Do not forget to copy to another location. Click OK. And now Excel will retrieve records where the state is Texas or where the university is public. So that's how you would use the advanced filter functionality. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.